Hello there Aquarius, uh, welcome to your tarot reading. So I have laid out the cards ahead of time uh, just to save me time and to make things a little bit more organized when I go through your initial messages, okay? So um, I'll go over this in a little bit. I'm just going to go over um, your initial messages that came through when I was shuffling. I have a lot of heavy energy that is coming through for this month. Uh, one of the first things I'm feeling is that... Um, I feel like a lot of you are watching your communication very, very carefully, like you're being very uh, methodical, you're being very selective about how you communicate as well as the words that you are choosing. So I feel that you're, you're very discerning when it comes to communication with a significant person. This is somebody that you are emotionally invested in, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, uh, a lot of you are meeting new people, so I feel like majority of people watching this, you might be entering, you know, you, you might have met somebody recently, and by recent, I mean like, you know, two, three months ago, and you are trying to move things forward with this person, and it feels as if things are happening really, really fast, like um, things are being streamlined, things are happening so fast, and I feel because of it, you're taking time off to really reassess how you feel about a specific situation. And, you know, I, I feel like you trust the other person, even though you've just met, you trust the other person. But things are happening so fast that it feels like you're a little bit dizzy. You know, like uh, the progression of the the relationship, that partnership is is having is heading into a very serious direction. So especially for those who are newly you know, dating somebody, I feel like you have your eyes on a specific person and you're trying to take things um, to the next level. I keep seeing a sense of geographical distance between you and another person. Like, um, you know, they might be an hour's drive, they might be a few hours drive, or they might be like even, you know, like a, a, a state away or just, you know, there is a significant amount of space distance between you and another person and I feel like you're trying to wrap your head around how this is going to work but I do see relationships being taken to the next level because you have somebody in your life that is quite significant to you and things are going really well I feel for others of you who are in you know long-standing relationships I do feel that um I feel like you might be trying to extract yourself and there there are like either financial considerations, uh, financial entanglements, unresolved financial issues that you, you are not ready to, um, that, that you both parties have not made an agreement how to separate just yet. So, and then there are others that are just taking trips together if you're in stable, you know, marriage or uh, uh, solid relationships there's a lot of trips back and forth okay either the see family because it is the holiday season but i do see quite a few trips being planned um possibly even overseas as well so for those who are dealing with legal issues as it pertains to either custody issues estate issues financial obligations entanglements between you and you know a spouse or somebody that you are trying to leave i do sense that uh there is some uh i feel like linkages between you and the other person and they're saying that you are on your best behavior like you're really careful about how you are uh, coming across mainly because you want uh, you, you want to be fair, you want the assets to be divided equally, but and then you want to like smooth out all the wrinkles so that you can part, you know, in, in on good terms. So that's coming through as well. There is a lot of, um, what I'm seeing is like, I, I'm seeing two men and two women. And of course, you know, like when, when I do these general readings, they're not always like, um, they're not always like gender specific, but I feel like, there's somebody stuck in a relationship with another person. And then there's you, you're stuck in another relationship with another person. And both parties like like each other and they're trying to, you know, from their respective ends, trying to figure out what to do. So either way, I feel like there's a lot of third party interference when it comes to custody issues, when it comes to relationships, taking relationships to the next level. And I feel that, you know, even if you're not involved with somebody who's uh, coupled up or married, I still feel that there's a lot of residual emotional baggage from your end and from their end that's pre 
preventing both of you to come together in a harmonious manner, mainly because, you know, trust issues, because of like um, past disappointments, past hurts, and um, uh, I guess like life history, um, you're not really sure how you can work together as a unit. So these challenges are coming through. Um, what I'm also feeling is that there's, um, I feel a lot of you are careful. It's, it's, it's almost like you want a relationship to end, but I feel that you're really careful because you still want to maintain, you know, a good rapport with one another. And they're basically telling you that be decisive. You can't have it all. Okay. Sometimes, um, when two people separate, you can't really expect, let's be friends. And I feel like from your end, it's easy, it's easier for you than the other person because, you know, you are an Aquarius, you have a wide circle of friends. And I feel that it's easier for you to say, let's be friends. The other person might not be ready just yet. So they're saying, you know, end things. It doesn't matter how it ends. If it needs to be ended, just end things. And then take care of the friendship later. Maybe, you know, months or years down the line, you both can come together and be amicable. But I feel for right now, a lot of feelings are being stirred up and it's not the best option or it's not even possible to do at this time. But in the future, once the, the wounds have, you know, once the dust settles, once the wounds have healed up, then you both can come together. So they're saying that, you know, you can't have it all. So it's better to close some doors if it's um, something that you've been struggling with for quite some time. Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything else coming through. I feel like a lot of you are shifting uh, your mindset. So in the past, you might have like dated around a lot. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You're just trying to find the right partner. But I feel that you were flitting from one person to the next. And I feel that a lot of you are entering this month. And um, you're you're thinking about more long term potential prospects. You're thinking more about, you know, how do I make my life a, a lot more stable? So I feel it can pertain to relationships. It can pertain to just lifestyle choices. It can pertain to your overall sense of like rootedness. So I feel as if, you know, if you have been traveling a lot, uh, shifting from one location to the next, trying to find like excitement, trying to find stimulation. And I feel that you might have been really difficult to pin down. You might have also like craved that nomadic type of lifestyle uh, for the past few years even. I feel like this is the month in which, you know, it could be as a result of meeting somebody uh, who wants to settle down or you are aiming for a lot more simplicity. You're aiming for a lot more rootedness, groundedness, and you're aiming for a lot of stability. So you're shifting from this nomadic, um, chaotic lifestyle to a little bit more structure, to a little bit more um, I, I want to say like stability, predictability. And in the past, you might have thought that, oh, predictability is boring. But now you are actually embracing it and you're actually welcoming it. And I feel that it's going to be really good for you because, you know, Aquarius are ruled by both the planet uh, Uranus, which is, deals with like um, breaking out of the status quo. But it's all your ancient ruler is also Saturn and Saturn deals with restriction. So with every Aquarius, there is usually this inner dynamic, this inner conflict about freedom versus restriction. So I feel that this is the month in which you're kind of like erring on the side of stability. You know, you want a little bit more structure in your life and you're trying to find ways to, to do that for yourself in work and also in your romantic relationships and also with your family. Okay. So it's a change, a major, major change of pace, but I feel that you are not fearing it. You are actually welcoming it. And I do sense that, um, a lot of you are watching this. You might've had your Saturn transit, you know, at 30 and, or, or also like 36, 37 or so. So I feel that a lot of you are doing some major, major restructuring of your life because you are craving a little bit more consistency and stability. Okay. Which is great. So, um, Having said that, let us go into your reading here. Uh, the first two cards that I have out here is the Princess of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles in the traditional sense indicates a situation where we are feeling a little bit kind of like um, cast out in the cold, okay? So this is a card about like financial lack. 
This is a card about worries about financial standing and worries about, you know, our long-term financial prospects. So I do feel a lot of you are like thinking about, you, you might be in a relationship with somebody where you're just like, um, how do I make a financial future that is stable only, not only just for myself, but for a significant other? And I feel that a lot of you are coming into this month with a very serious state of mind about improving, enhancing, or even stabilizing your financial foundation so that you're not, you're going to have like a pretty nest egg when you retire. So you're thinking long term about, you know, investment opportunities, ways to make your money grow for you, or even ways to like expand how much you're earning so that things are becoming a lot more stable, not only for you, but for like the people that you really care about. So you are becoming a little bit more other oriented. You usually are other oriented, but I feel like you are including more people into your financial calculations. So you're trying to stabilize your life so that you can secure either a house, a stable, you know, um, place to conduct a business, or even like taking better care of the house, the property that you are in and taking care of your relationship in a more responsible, in a more stable manner. Okay, so it's a very, very good card overall. Um, I do feel for you financially, you're making money. So I feel like money is coming in, but it's almost like you're trying to save up for a rainy day. So you're living a little bit like a pauper. Um, you might be saving up for extensive, you know, um, uh, I, I, I want to say like, this is a card also about what I feel is, you know, tax season It's the end of the year you might be allocating a lot more money, taking money out of your savings in order to pay taxes, in order to buy gifts, in order to like um, pay it forward. So I feel like you, on the one hand, you know, we have the nine of pentacles here, which indicates a lot of money is coming through. And a lot of you might be self-employed and you're doing some creative, you know, side gigs as well. So you're making a lot of money, but I feel that you're the money that you're making, you're spending it wisely, you're putting a lot in savings and you're saving up for a rainy day and you are you could even be saving for tax season when that rolls around next year, okay? So I feel that you're very stringent about, you know, controlling how much is leaving your hands, mainly because you're becoming a lot more responsible with money. What is linked up with the Five of Pentacles here is the Princess of Cups. And the Princess of Cups basically indicates to me, this is a, a, a budding new relationship. So this is the Page of Cups in the traditional Rider Waite deck. And it usually indicates like a, an offer of love, a gesture coming through from another person. It is a page energy. So I feel like a lot of you are entering some type of a new uh, deal with another person, okay? So like a new engagement, a new uh, relationship. This is somebody that is newly in the picture. So it's not somebody that you've been resting with for, you know, the past few years. This is somebody that you've just met. It's something fairly new. It has a lot of potential. And I do feel there is a very strong vibe of like, um, ride or die type of vibe. I feel that you, you, you've got somebody that you are very much emotionally in tune with and I do feel that you know it, it's sort of like through thick and thin and this is a person that I feel that you would you know rough it out for okay so we have that coming through um, a lot of you might be dealing with a water sign in whatever capacity the water sign comes up this can be their sun moon or rising uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio I feel like this is the person that might be lacking in funds so they're, they're not like the richest people in the world, but I feel that, you know, they're, um, they're quite reliable. I feel like this is something new and this is somebody that you, you really enjoy spending time with. So because they, they might not have a lot of money, um, I feel that a lot of you, if you're involved with them romantically even, I feel like you're spending a lot of time doing simple things, you know, t going for hikes, um, cooking at home. And I feel that because it's um it's something that you're doing out of necessity mainly because they might not have all the re financial resources you're starting to appreciate the simple life you know so i feel like that's that's what's coming through here and it's re-examining the way that you are spending money in the past or you have spent money in the past for some of you i feel like it could be a family member too uh, somebody who is um, going through some financial difficulties 
um, you might be financially linked with them, like you're helping them financially, or you are in a position where, you know, they're, they're very cautious with money. Water signs are usually very, quite cautious with money. And I feel that you're learning important karmic lessons as it pertains to how you make money, how you spend your money, how you save up. So you're getting kind of like a reality check when it comes to, you know, how you've been spending your money. Not that you're lacking funds, but I feel like a lot of you might have been extravagant and you're realizing those are lost um, opportunities or lost, you know, chunks of money that you might have squandered in the past. So you're being a little bit more methodical and you're learning through somebody else's, um, you know, insights. Okay. So they're providing a little bit of insights as to how you can better manage your money. So that's always good. I feel like it's a learning experience either way. What is coming through as well? Um, the next cluster here is the eight of wands. And this is swift, rapid communication. This is coming through from somebody far away from you. And I do feel as well, it is also indicative of travel. Traveling that happens at the very last minute and might be unplanned, unexpected, but I feel that it is coming through. It's also linked up here with the Ace of Wands. So a lot of you might be traveling because you've landed some new projects in your, you know, stable nine and five, nine of five type of employment. There's a new project, a new client, a new customer, a new portfolio that you're supposed to land. So I feel that you're doing some traveling as it pertains to the work environment environment and overall you're getting a lot of um, communication coming through from people like through electronic means like telephone text messages emails and you're going to have to be very quick on the uptake in order to land these lucrative clients or these lucrative assignments so that you can increase your financial standing so that you can increase you know how much money you're making so i do see a lot of ambition geared towards keeping money making a lot of money and retaining a lot of money so i feel that a lot of you might be uh, called upon to work overtime this month if you're in a um if you're employed by somebody else or even if you're self-employed, there's a lot of demand for your services. So keep yourself on your toes and get take care of, you know, responsibilities in a timely manner because I feel like last minute clients, last minute, um, last minute, like I feel, you know, if you're, um, if you have people working for you, they might call out sick too. So I feel that, you know, then the responsibility falls on you. If you can't find a replacement, then you're going to have to be the one to handle it. So I do feel a lot of busy energy as it pertains to new clients, new opportunities to make money and travel as well to see these people, to see things through, to inspect sites. Um, to come out to a property to inspect a property for those who are a real estate agent I do see this happening very quickly, especially if you're in the market for um, to flip houses I feel like you know, uh, there might be a lot of foreclosures and You have like several options to choose from and they're going really fast. I see like foreclosures I see bidding I see a lot of property listed and then they're going really really fast so you're going to have to be very swift on the uptake in order to secure houses, okay? If you are thinking about uh, buying a new property, renting a new property, or even like shifting from where you are living to another location, it is going to be in your best interest to be very, very nimble to, you know, uh, check the online listing, check to see what's available and refresh the page on, on a more frequent basis because a lot of listings are coming through as it pertains to property. Okay. So I feel like if you have been kind of, um, I, I don't want to say like kicked out, but it feels to me like there might be a few foreclosure. Um, you might be, you know, leaving one housing situation in a less unfavorable terms. Somebody else is coming through with an offer for a new location. And I do feel the new location is going to be very, very good for you. It's got a good landlord. It's got good tenants. And I feel like it's a lot more stable. So if you're, you know, looking for housing opportunities, don't worry. It's going to be very stable. The next place I feel is something that is right for you and it's going to be better than where you left. Okay. So it's looking stable and good so far. The next cluster deals with the King of Cups as well as the Four of Wands. So this person has been popping up in your reading for a long period of time. And I just want to say, I feel like for a lot of you, 
I feel like this is a new person. I don't feel like that, you know, they, the water sign has been popping up, but I feel this is a new person, mainly because we have the princess of cups coming through, which is a new energy. It's intention setting. And then you have this person coming through. This is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And there is some type of, um, living arrangement that you are uh, handling with this person you might share space together you might be roommates they might be your landlord you might be you know uh, their landlord so there is also an element here of having to share space here with a water sign sun moon or rising and i do feel that things are looking very very good this is someone who's very caring they're very considerate they might leave like you know some food drinks and things like that for you they're very very considerate and i do feel that they're bringing in like you know a uh, good cheer merriment and a lot of like uh, soothing energy within your housing environment if you are not dealing with this person in a housing environment i definitely feel and i'm going to do your relationship reading in a little bit but there is a lot of like merriment there's a lot of celebratory energy in the housing environment i usually think of this as like a um, housewarming card housewarming party people coming by with like um you know if they're attending like a housewarming party for you they're bringing by uh they're coming by with wine with um you know food with like a lot of um uh, a lot of things that you can you know use for the party like festivities okay so wine food gifts little trinkets here and there and, and things like that but it's mainly related to like you know drinks and food um if you have recently met this person, I do feel there is a, a sense of like stability coming back in in this relationship. At least you know where you stand and at least you know, at least you know where you stand with them. At least you know how stable they are. Now, if you are dealing with this person, you know, for the past few years, if this is like an old person that has been in your life or in and out of your life and um, they're not new. I feel like they are currently in a relationship. So you want to be careful. Like if you, you want to know how they feel about you and they've been, you know, around for quite a few years, I would say like eight months to like two years, three years, or even longer. If they're not a new person, I feel that they are in a position where they are dating again. They're in a serious relationship or they're dating and taking things to the next level with another person. Okay. So I do sense that coming through. Just be careful. Um, lastly, we do have the world and the queen of wands. So the world indicates a very, very expansive energy. This is um, usually I think about this, especially for Aquarius or um, Sagittarius. This is a card about good luck when it pertains to um, being able to expand outside of your geographical location, being able to grab opportunities when they come in. I feel that you have a really good sense of timing, Aquarius in general, you and uh, Sagittarius. You have a very good sense of timing to know when something is right for you. When opportunities come knocking, you don't hesitate. So I feel that intuitively, you know what's really good for you, okay? So I feel a lot of opportunities for travel, a lot of opportunities for communication happening between you and people, um, you know, like around you, but there is almost like a, a sense of geographical distance between you and other people that you are communicating with. So this is a card also about returning back to school, trying to expand your uh, philosophical outlook, trying to expand your mind and trying to learn new skills, new things to make yourself a lot more marketable on the work front. Okay. It's linked up here with the queen of wands. So I feel that a lot of you are taking risks when it comes to travel, when it comes to like putting yourself out there in a way where you're leaving yourself vulnerable, but you trust the other person a lot. So you're not in a position where you want to, um, you know, guard yourself or keep people, people at arm's length you're a lot more receptive to new ideas new philosophies new ways of doing and you know you're not as uh you're not acting as like um as rigid or even as like a uh, tunnel vision so i feel that you know on the one hand you you know where you stand and you know what you're about but i feel that if someone can come through with a persuasive argument they can persuade you to come on board with their ideas and with their you know uh politics or philosophies okay so 
it's linked up here with the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is showing up here as some as a fire sign. This is a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that is providing travel opportunities for for you, and I feel that you might be uh, communicating with this person. They are somebody I feel in this deck, especially, they are somebody with a lot of wisdom, with a lot of insight, with a lot of like interesting, a very interesting life history and I do feel there is travel um, either with this person or to see this person it, it's not gender specific but I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign sun moon or rising and I feel that this is somebody that is really really caring I feel like they're doting on you they are providing a lot of opportunities for you to travel with them to travel to see them and they are somebody who's a little bit more family oriented they want you to be a part of their family so i feel that there is um a family vibe strongly indicated with this person if this person is like um somebody in your own family um i feel like they're providing you know opportunities like either financially for you to travel if this is somebody you are romantically involved with I feel like they're very nurturing very caring prone to jealousy they need a lot of attention they need a lot of attention they need a lot of reassurance and a lot of attention but I do feel that there's travel and movement happening in order to you know be with them as well in terms of your spiritual advice what we have here is this and this is really important because I feel like I feel like a lot of you you want to um, you want to be careful about moderation okay I don't see like Aquarius typically you know like you're you're actually very disciplined but I feel that when you fall in love you tend to kind of um, uh, neglect other areas of your life okay so like you you might lose yourself in relationships because what I'm feeling here is there is no Pentacles card okay the only one showing up here is the five of pentacles which is not a great card and then we have the world where you are like flitting from one thing to the next so i feel like you're not very grounded this month you're trying to be and you're getting yourself there but i feel that you know when it comes to love when it comes to relationships when it comes to how emotionally invested you are in other people and you're dealing with people who are quite intense you know they're they're very black or white. They're very intense with their feelings because we have the King of Cups, so, which is somebody who is, um, you know, this is somebody who, male or female, they know what they want and they, they kind of beeline for that, okay? And they, they might do it in a more um, subtle way, but they're still very adamant about their emotions. They're still very sure about what they want. And then others of you are dealing with a fire sign. Um, a... So I feel like this fire sign might be somebody new too because we have the Ace of Wands which indicates like a new person coming through. And so fire signs are very, very passionate and they're very like, um, I almost want to say impulsive. So I feel like this person has a lot of intensity too. So you're in relationships with people who are very intense, who are very sincere, but they're very intense. And I feel like you're getting swept up in it, which is not a bad thing. But I feel like other areas of your life might be neglected, such as your homes, such as your responsibilities to like, um, such as like your financial, you know, bookkeeping. So I feel like you're, you're kind of getting swept away. So the one thing that they want you to really focus on right now, especially if you're self-employed, especially if you work from home or if you dictate your own hours. So one of those three scenarios, okay? Um, be very, very grounded because there is a lot of money to be had this month. There's a lot of clients. There's a lot of, you're in high, high, high demand. So if you're taking trips, if you're going away, I feel that you're going to be, you know, significantly, uh, I, I feel like f you might miss out on these opportunities. So they're saying, take care of the practical responsibilities first, and then everything else will fall into place. So be very careful this month. It's I feel like it's a little bit of a, a trade-off. One thing, you know, will exclude the other. So it's an opportunity cost, okay? So if you are financially struggling, try to stay put this month and try to really work on your financial situation, mainly because I feel like work is going to be really busy. You're going to be in high demand. A lot of people are going to want your services. A lot of people are going to want um, to rely on you for whatever it is that you can provide for them. Um, 
so there is high income generating potential okay so you have a lot of money that is trying to come through for you for this month and i feel like it's um it's you know um opportunities that you might have actively sought in the past or opportunities that are just trying to come through for you so there's a lot of money at stake here okay what it's linked up with here is the hangman and the hangman is a card about reassessment okay this is kind of like on the one hand on the other hand so you're kind of like straddling both sides and you're trying to decide how to proceed forward and i do feel that a lot of you might be in a relationship where you have a lot of financial um dealings at stake and you're trying to find a way to extract yourself from it especially if you're in a divorce situation separation and you're just like kind of stuck in limbo and you're trying to decide how to you know maximize you know your um the the payout for yourself without making this situation drag on so i i do feel that they're telling you um, if you are in a relationship and you're trying to extract yourself and there are a lot of financial entanglements, they're telling you that, you know, it's pretty much, it's pretty much the end of the line. It's done and over with. Money, you can always gain back. But being in this situation is really hurting you. So I feel that you, you don't really have a choice but to try to, you know, get a clean break okay because you have new energies that are trying to come through for you you have self-employment opportunities that are kind of like right around the corner as well if you are looking in that manner so i don't feel that you need to worry about yourself financially you just need to take charge of the situation and sever ties if you need to get a clean break so that you can have um, you know that so that you can pursue new opportunities as they come through so i feel that a lot of you are financially you know you're you're in a good space right now and you have a lot more money that is trying to come through um investment opportunities are going to pan out really well especially for december okay investment opportunities are panning out very very well um so try to you know look up some investment opportunities if you're concerned about money i feel like that's where a lot of money might will be had okay so on the other hand we have significant relationships here I pulled out, we, this is the Ten of Swords, I pulled out a card just to see, just to clarify it. And we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is a situation where you have invested a lot of time, a lot of resources, a lot of emotions. And I feel that um, a lot of Aquarius, once you really care about somebody, you know, you will give it your all. And you have trouble as well, let, uh, letting things go. So I feel like you you are ready at this point to let a relationship go and you have been stuck in limbo trying to decide you know trying to like find ways to work it out trying to find ways like creative ways to make sure you know that you both can be okay but i do feel that enough's enough here and i do feel that a lot of you will be walking away from significant relationships for this month and i do feel it could be uh with family as well um i do sense that overall it is about you know new ways of tr you, like you're trying to find new ways to stabilize your life um stabilize your house stabilize your foundation financially and you're trying to find ways to like just allow you to stay put so that you're not shifting from one place to the next without you know like a nomad so i feel like all of these things are coming through for you okay so there's a lot of reassessment i feel happening for this month and um i feel on an intuitive level a lot of you know that you're supposed to make some changes in your life as it pertains to work as it pertains to housing and relationships but if you have been putting them off in the past i do feel this is the month in which things start to you know bubble up and they're coming to a culmination point okay so let's go into your love reading and let's see what's in store for you guys. You had a really good reading last month and I'm hoping the energy is consistent because I feel like a lot of you are um, happily in relationships, but you need to close some doors on the past as well. So, you know, like I said, you can't really have it all. If you have an ex and you're still talking to and you want to like, you know, not burn bridges because you want to become friends. Maybe the time is not now. Maybe in the future you can come back together and be friends. But I feel like you and the, the people that you have been involved with, you can't really stay friends because it might interfere with your new relationship. So just be careful about that, okay? Try to minimize the group of friends. So 
I feel overall it's going to be better for you. So let's see. Okay, so in the past position, we have here the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Both of these are major arcana cards and they indicate a very, very deep soul searching type of journey that you have been doing. So I feel like if this pertains to you, then, you know, watch the rest. Um, the Hermit is a, a kind of like a self-imposed isolation, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, you know, Aquarius are very, uh, very dynamic, very uh, enthusiastic people. They're great. They make great first impression on everybody because you're quite friendly. You're quite talkative. You're very knowledgeable, quite intelligent and like bright like a penny. So I feel that a lot of you have many, many suitors overall throughout the course of your life. Whenever you're single, you have a lot of people that are, you know, at least interested in you and they're flirting with you. And I feel that you come into a lot of social interactions with a very nonchalant, with a very friendly vibe. So the other person don't really know the other people don't really know how you feel about them. So I feel like you have been keeping people at a distance, okay? So like you're keeping people at arm's length. And I, I do feel that a lot of people, on the one hand, we have a lot of people that are interested in you. And we're talking high caliber people that want to be in a stable relationship with you. They're generally very like well-traveled people. They might be culturally different from you. Um, so you're dealing with a lot of good, positive people overall that want to be in your midst. However, what I feel is happening is this is a card about self-seclusion, you know, self-imposed isolation. You are keeping to yourself. You're happy with your own company. I feel like a lot of you are tinkering with a lot of things. Like you have a lot of hobbies. You have a lot of interests. You're trying to expand your mind. You're trying to like absorb information. You're trying to make yourself into a better person. And, um, because you're not overly like a sexual sign unless unless you have a lot of fire in you so unless you have like you know Sagittarius Aries or Leo you know uh, rising or moon sign if you're a heavy if you're a person with heavy Aquarian traits unless you have a lot of fire in you I feel like you're not a very very like sexual you know like um I want to say even sensual type of person. So you're really happy with your own company and you might have kept yourself like from dating. You might have found one excuse after another to just not date and just be by yourself. And I feel like it has really worked well for you. And I feel what's happening is that um, you are encountering new people. If you haven't already for the past few months, I feel that you're encountering new people. And what's coming through is we have here a water sign. So this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that is um, very, very like, they're, they're very intense, I feel. And Scorpio does come to mind. They're the most intense of all the water signs. I feel like a lot of you um, might be involved with this person who's like making really, really big gestures in order to be with you. Okay, so like they're making like they're making their feelings known. They're not somebody that is shy about expressing how they feel. They're they're pretty adamant about, you know, wanting to build a relationship with you, wanting to be with you, wanting like to have a relationship and even taking the relationship to the next level. And I feel like for some of you, this person has too much intensity. They might expect too much from you and you're not really ready to give it your all just yet. For others of you, I feel that this is a, a person that you were involved with and you, you know, like you were involved with you ha that have been in your life for a few years. I feel once again, they are linked up with another person, which indicates like you might find out. You might find out they've moved on because we have the three of swords, which indicates separation. So you might find out that they've moved on, that they're, you know, involved with another person and they're trying to take their relationship with the other person to the next level. So we have two ways in which this could play out. But I feel like this is someone who's making a declarative statement about wanting to be with you. And I do feel as well, if you are dealing with this person from a distance, there might be some sadness associated with it, not because you're physically separating 
from each other, but because there's that sense of distance about, you know, not being um, able to be with them. You might get communication from this person to bridge the distance between the two of you. They might come to see you if you're dealing with this person and it's a new person. They, they might come to see you, like travel quite a ways to come and be with you, all right? What is coming through in your foundation here? We do have the nine of wands and the nine of wands is a situation where we are taking a little bit of a break in order to fight another day. It's linked up here with the five of cups and the five of cups usually indicates sadness, regrets, disappointment, disappointment with a situation and we're not really sure how to proceed forward. So on the one hand, I feel that a lot of you might have been in situations in the past where you were involved with a partner and I feel like you might be dealing with, you're involved with a partner. And uh, I feel like even though you both were together, you're not very compatible. And as a result of it, you felt very alone in the relationship. So they, you know, like your time, um, your schedule might have been different where you rarely got to see each other. There's a sense of estrangement between the two of you. And I feel that you want out. You want out of this relationship mainly because you don't feel emotionally nurtured. You also didn't feel as if, um, as if you, you were both in it for keeps. And I do sense for a lot of you, you might just, you know, like this is a situation where somebody still wants to be with you and they still want to make their love known. And they are very sincere. And I feel that you know that they're very sincere. But the love is not there from your end anymore and you want out of that relationship. So I do feel that a lot of you, if you have been in straggling, struggling relationships, I feel like you just want to bounce. You just want out of it, okay? Because what's coming through is is what I'm sensing and it could be all signs, not just a water sign. Um, they're making their feelings known and I feel like you're drifting away. You have already moved on. A lot of you might have shifted from a water sign, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, to a new person who just came into the picture past few months. This is a new person, okay? We have here the Page of Swords as well as the Knight of Swords. So I feel that you're smitten by somebody else and you might have shifted from a water sign to an air sign. The water sign might be, you know, trying to get you to come back, but it's done and over with. You have already emotionally uh, withdrew your affection and you are moving on with an air sign. So the air sign is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I feel this is somebody with a lot of fire in them because the way they come in, they're very fast, very driven, um, kind of reckless, but not in a bad way. I feel like they're, they're still smart quite exciting, quite intelligent, but I feel there is a, f a lot of fire with this person. So, um, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra with like a lot of Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, either their moon, their Mars, or their rising. So you're dealing with somebody with a lot of fire, with a lot of drive, ambition, and they know what they want. They beelines it for you because I feel like this is somebody who is a very, very directed energy. And if you have been in the past, you know, dealing with a, um, a person, a significant other, I feel like a lot of you did all the work. So even Aquarius female dating men, um, I feel like the, the men you might have dated were very passive. So actually, if you're just an Aquarius dating other people, and especially a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, they're very passive and I feel that, you know, you were the one to do that had to do everything, a lot of planning, a lot of like management, a lot of like, um, getting things rolling. And I feel like a lot of you were the types where, you know, if you wanted to do something with them, if you wanted to get something done, you had to plan things out and they don't really take the initiative mainly because, you know, they're a little bit more laid back, but I feel like whoever is you're dealing with right now, this air sign. They're very aggressive, they're very directed, they're very ambitious, and I feel like you can, you know, you find yourself kind of sitting back. You don't have to take the reins now, and I feel that a lot of you, it really boosts your ego when the other person takes initiative because it shows you that they are serious about you. And this is something a lot of people don't know about Aquarius, okay? Aquarius is a fixed sign, so if you want to court an Aquarius person, male or female, just make sure that you're not just all talk. I feel that, you know, if you tell them, hey, let's meet here uh, at this time on this date, they will be there. 
And I feel that that's the best way to handle an Aquarius. Mainly, you know, just don't don't tell them, like, don't leave it up to them. Because they want you to take initiative. And they might not say it, but they really do. So I feel like for those of you who are courting an Aquarius, male or female, it is best for you to just say, hey, let's meet for a drink. Let's meet for lunch. Let's meet for a date. Meet me here, here, here at this specific time on this specific date. If they say, okay, I feel that, you know, they're going to be there. And they really like it when people take initiative. So... I feel like you're meeting somebody who is taking a lot of initiative in order to plan a lot of exciting dates, plan things so that everything goes smoothly. And I feel that uh, the pressure is off you. So now you you can enjoy the moment without having to, you know, overly plan and think about things. OK, and work out the logistics, I guess. So what's crowning you And the crowning energy is something that you are thinking about. We have here the Page of Cups. This is a really good energy um, as it pertains to love. This is kind of like uh, not only loving the other person, but like liking them as a person. So I, I hope that makes sense. It's, it's sort of like, I feel a lot of you are in a relationship right now. You might have shifted from a, a, a water sign to a water sign that has been in your life for quite some time. They're in another relationship right now. And you're shifting to an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. If you are dealing with a water sign, there's a sense of geographical distance separating the two of you. There might be some issues with communication. There might be some a lot of drinking as well involved with them. So I feel like that might be a barrier, one of the obstacles that you're dealing with. And um, either way, whoever you're newly involved with, I do feel like there's a lot of uh, a great deal of um, emotional rapport, you know, like you actually like each other, you get along really well. Um, there's a there's a lot of like, you know, ad admiration coming through. So I feel like it's not just lust. I don't feel that it's just lust. Okay, because this is showing up in conjunction with the Ace of Wands, which indicates a lot of lust, a lot of like sexual energy, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. But I feel like it's also, there's a lot of friendship. There's a lot of like mutual understanding involved as well. So I feel like you're dealing with another person that you actually really like spending time with. So overall, it is going to be a very good month as it pertains to love relationships. There is a little bit of a separation here, a little bit of disappointment. If you're dealing with a water sign for the past few years, and I feel like they're in another relationship right now, and it's going to be known to you, and you're going to have to choose to, you know, decide what to do with this information. But the rest of it looks very good to me. I feel like new air sign coming through. And especially for those of you who are out dating, there's going to be somebody with a uh, previous marriage entanglement. That is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for those who are single and dating. And then we have an air sign as well. That's very aggressive. And I feel like not in a bad way, but I feel like they're very directed about what they want. Okay. So your days of being, you know, playing hermit, sequestering yourself away from society, from dating is over. And I feel like you can no longer make excuses about, you know, why you're single because there are options coming through. Um, so on the one hand, I feel like a lot of you are still grappling with this, whether or not to remain friends with somebody or whether or not to have like a sexual, you know, liaison with another person. So I do see friends with benefits coming through, but a lot of you are looking for a little bit more stability in your love life. Okay. Coupled people. I do see a lot of trips coming through, a lot of celebrations, um, trips, travel, housing situation, like lodging, accommodations and things like that. It looks very, very good. But once again, I feel like if you're in a coupled relationship, you're doing a lot more of the planning than the other person is. And um, it would be helpful if you talk to them and tell them, you know, that you don't like to do it, if that's your thing, because I feel like the other person needs to step up. Okay. So you need to like balance that aspect out of the relationship in order for things to be smooth in the future. So best of luck, Aquarius. Um, enjoy your holiday season. Enjoy the rest of this month. And I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Take care. Bye-bye.